I also got to say, and I'm kind of stealing my thunder from a friend of mine who you would know, but I'm not going to mention who really said this, but I totally agree with it. Whether uh, you're right or wrong, I think you're mostly right about this issue, especially the vaccine issue. The guts and the integrity to take that stand and stick and buy your guns when media, you lose the New York Times, family, that to me is a pair of balls. Bill Maher platformed RFK Jr. on his podcast to help promote his campaign as well as to uplift his anti-vax conspiracy. Because as we all know, Bill Maher is a big fan of talking about things he knows nothing about. And one of his favorite things to talk about is vaccines. It has been long before COVID, he's been helping promote the idea that vaccines cause autism, which is now RFK Jr.'s favorite thing to say. And of course, Maher defended his position by questioning the science. On the side that shows that autism is caused by vaccines, there's over 100 studies. I, in fact, did a book in which I listed all of those studies. They want to go to the most vulnerable point, which is you're a coup nah, that's, because you don't believe in vaccines. That's not me I, talking. I, no. I don't believe that, but that's what but they do will. do you believe I don't believe in vaccines? I, I believe you are more. Um, I just believe in science. I, I understand, me, but, but I, you know. Any, show Bob, me the science. Bobby, this I, is the, yeah, but let's not talk about again the science. That's the thing. That's the mistake they made. I believe in oh, science too. Listen, but, listen, I, but just like the, I mean. the other I mean, side of it. Ben, I really hate this nonsense because he's here sit, say, sitting there and saying he has a hundred studies, which isn't true because exactly one study proved that there was a link between autism and vaccines, and the doctor who pushed that study was heavily paid to do it. The study was discredited and he lost his medical license. It's no, he is a joke to the scientific community. He has been thoroughly discredited. And these old men who have exactly zero qualifications have latched on to it to spread this harmful lie, which I think is also extremely offensive to, to people who have autism because it's this idea that something has caused this, this deficiency in you. And the way that they talk about autism is, is very offensive in my opinion. Well, Ray, in the defense of these two gentlemen, if you go back in time to before the study was discredited and you print a hundred copies of it, you now got a hundred studies proving a link between <laughs> autism and vaccines. And so I think that's what they were implying. And so I'd like to just make that clear. Plus, there is one other historical record proving a link between autism and vaccines. That's of course the host of dating show crude comedian Jenny McCarthy. I feel as though <laughs> you're not you're not giving her enough credit for her scientific background of which she has none. Right. Well as you know what she might have kissed a scientist on New Year's Eve one one year. So that's a little bit of a scientific she, background. Who did she kiss? She she kissed Fauci? <laughs> no. I don't think so. A lot of firefighters, though. Every year, I remember watching her kiss a different firefighter on as she got progressively more drunk on New Year's Eve. So that's the person I want determining our, our science. I heard, in this country. I heard that kissing Jenny McCarthy causes autism. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> uh, there are several studies that I've printed. A <laughs> hundred of them. <laughs> Um, but so there's another clip we have here from that, that wonderful conversation, a real meeting of the minds, if you will, where Mar is letting JFK Jr. or RFK Jr., excuse me, drone on and on about some conspiracy that he bought into regarding the efficacy of the vaccines. It's required to do placebo controlled trials. That's what science is. You give you you give a, a group of people, a cohort of people. The, the medicine, and then you give the a, cohort, a similarly situa situated cohort of people the placebo. And then you look at health outcomes over a, a four or five year period. Because many of the impact of the outcomes are going to have long diagnostic horizons and long incubation periods. So you won't see them immediately. You need to do it. Anthony Fauci has said eight years for a vaccine. You need to watch them for a while. Those studies have not, the only medicine that never gets tested are vaccines, and that is what I object to. It's yes, not. I'm not I, saying the you know that. Not only the only one effective. It, all I'm saying is let's test them the way that we test other medications. That well, does not seem no, unreasonable. That is not unreasonable. Well, that's my position. 
Well, your position is idiotic and absolutely unreasonable because the idea that we have eight years to sit around during an unprecedented pandemic that is killing, has killed, has killed millions of people. The idea that we can just lounge, lounge back and wait eight years to test the vaccine before we give it to the public. I mean, they are, they're, they're saying they want to protect people, Ben. But I mean, his proposed way of doing things literally would have led to hundreds of thousands of needless deaths. I can't stand these people.